Hey guys, it's Matt, and today I'm here to talk about hot spiced wine, one of my favorite ways to drink wine in the wintertime, um, and which also known as mulled wine, but you may find if you're having a party and you tell people you have mulled wine, you may get far fewer takers than if you tell people you have hot spiced wine. Um, at least that's been my experience. Uh, one party we had, we had, hey, we got mulled wine, and like nobody was buying it. And then uh, we, we switched over to telling people, hey, we have hot spiced wine. Boom, it was gone. Uh, so, you know, with your younger crowd, they may not know what the mulled wine is all about. Hot spiced wine, delicious. So, um, this is a great way, if you ever have a bottle that you're like, eh, maybe not my favorite bottle, um, especially if it's, you know, not, not like bad, but if it's like maybe a little bit too tart, uh, a little bit of VA, um, uh, giving it the mulling treatment can be a great way to make that wine uh, very drinkable. Um, of course, you know, the better the wine, uh, the better your mulled wine is going to be. But uh, those spices and sugar can hide a lot. So you're going to take a bottle of either, you know, some fine 11 wine. Um, the way we're doing this at the winery on weekends right now is with the Ratio Rosso. Yum. Um, I have here a bottle that's you know, maybe not my favorite bottle. Um, so we're going to put some of that in our mug. Oh yeah, so uh, this is a way that you can have hot spiced wine or mulled wine, your preference, um, at home, all on your own, and, you're, and you don't have to make a whole big pot of it. This is the thing with most mulling, mulling recipes is that uh, it's like three bottles of burgundy and <clears throat> all the spices and sliced orange and blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, who's going to take the time to do that? Um, on, on a Tuesday night, for example. But uh, I'm gonna show you how you can make, um, uh, you know, a single mug of mulled wine for yourself, for your enjoyment uh, at home some weekday evening uh, before you watch, you know, the new Bill and Ted movie, for example. <clears throat> okay, so pour your wine into your uh, Nerd College mug and um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is add some sugar. How much sugar? Dude, I don't know, some sugar. Not too much. To taste. Sugar to taste. <clears throat> okay, and then, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you get your mulling spices. You get your mulling spices and you put them in your tea ball. Because I know all you middle-aged people like me have tea balls. Um, you know, from somebody's grandmother, whatever. Put your mulling spices, half, here you go, half a tablespoon of mulling spices in eight ounces of wine. First thing you gotta do is get the wine really hot. Don't put the spoon in the microwave. Um, beep, 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 beep. It's really hot now. TV magic. Um, and then you got your half a tablespoon of mulling spices and you put it in there, and uh, and you let it sit for mm, 10, 15 minutes, and then you pull it out. Uh, delicious. But what if, it's actually kind of good just like that. Um, <clears throat> what if, <clears throat> you're like, Matt, I don't have any mulling spices. It's okay. Check this out. So, no mulling spices. Gosh, I wish I had a place to set this cup. All right, so um, that would require a far more sophisticated video setup than what I have. So I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so I mean, so you don't have your whole, whole star anise and cloves and blah, blah, blah. You're okay. All right, so you go to your cupboard, you get out allspice, okay? Allspice. How much allspice? Like, not very much. Teeny bit. Into your nerd college mug with your red wine. All right, then moving along alphabetically, cinnamon. Cinnamon, because these are things that are in mulled wine. Cinnamon, little teeny, not very much. Just a little bit. OK, 
Okay, and then <clears throat> cloves. It's fine if you put your fingers in there. Don't worry about it. Okay, a little teeny bit of cloves. I mean, we're talking less than a pinch here. We're talking a very, very small amount. All right. <clears throat> and then, I'm gonna mix that up. I think I put too much sugar in. It's okay. Um. Hmm. Does it taste like mulled wine? Hell yes, it does. So, allspice, cinnamon, cloves, teeny amounts in your eight ounces with some sugar. Heat it up. Boom. You got your single mug of hot spice wine at home. Delicious. Enjoy.